the benefits of having your hands free while walking. And Love the big, Kai started. The big cheers as well there. There's such an atmosphere at Team Kaist in South Korea. Yes. And you can see the speed of this device, it's incredible. So here, he is going to tackle the first task, and we've yes. seen this every time in qualifying from him. Why is the sideways step so difficult? So it's so difficult because it, um, it uses additional muscle groups. Uh, so you have to have these additional degrees of freedom, and you think you artificially uh, get the thrills by throwing the package. <laughs> And okay. we see Team Kai successfully sitting down and standing up again. And you can imagine that this task is really, I mean, so often you, you are in places where you have to sit down and then stand up again, right? Even in public transport, if you want to enter a train and so on. Of course. So if you're able to do that with the exoskeleton, that's really, really great. And so we are moving on and passing what would have been the stairs, yes. which they, they have not even constructed there because they weren't going yes, to exactly. do that task. Now, actually, a lot of the teams are able to do the stairs, potentially, but they couldn't uh, prepare good enough for the, for the competition. So I expect in a few years to also see this task. Oh, that is a real shame. Okay, back to Team Kites now. And if you haven't joined us before now and you're coming in for the final, we're seeing a little bit of a, a, a different design in all of the exos, but here there's a lot of weight, or it looks like a lot, but there's a frontal structure rather than something at the back. Here. Yes, and this is really unique, so that's the first time that we, that we see this at the competition. And I... imagine he's only using the crutches now to be even faster. Now, there, you know, he's coming up to a, a point where there is going to be free walking, which is something we're starting it. So let's take a Here look at him. Wow. Completely free moving without the use of crutches, Michael. And still with a very high speed. I'm so surprised. And such good balance and yeah. control here. And it's a task pass. Nice. Well done. So that's 30 points on the board then. For Team Keist, you can see them just behind. Okay, let's get back to Team Keist in this crowd scenario now. It, it, oh, you see, you there's know, actually really not a lot of uh, of space between these uh, these robots. There isn't, and as you mentioned, you know, there's four devices going on here because there's legs and crutches. Yeah. And you know, it's with these exoskeletons, you can just on the fly adapt your uh, your stride length and your walking patterns. Um, this is really, really challenging. Okay, we've a few years' time, what we'll see again uh, as it rapidly, rapidly gets better and better. But what, what I've seen this weekend has totally blown my mind. And what's also interesting are the different strategies on how they approach the task. Because here you, yes, we see now that he will pass the door sideways is that because his exo is a little bit bigger then the feet a little bit wider maybe or it's um, just a strategy that he thinks will be quicker i think it's definitely got the door open and are through and, and kais have already closed perfect. the door and maybe we get a glimpse at the awesome strategy of uh, the other team on how to close the door yeah they had a great strategy yeah. Our, our Thai team. So Ray Shock has finished. Hinge of the door, putting his hand into the hinge. Do you got need to wait for the green flag to be held aloft? Oh, and this is also awesome. This I think is our we just I think we just here. missed it, but he had to grab this um, um, this this container out of the uh, drawer that is very close to the to the floor. Which doing in an exoskeleton is really, really hard. Really difficult. We did see it earlier in qualifying, didn't we? Him being able to lower himself to a degree to be able to to get the item out of the draw. Uh, back in Thailand. Oh, for him, it's really And you know, the movement seems so flawless. It does. You can really see that there's years now of experience for, for Team Kais. And Team Kais wow. then. Taking points. the most points. And it was in no doubt, as Michael said, the team have been working together for years in development, and that is evident. That is so amazing. With this technology. Well done, well done, yes, good.
It was such a team performance and you can see how well this team has gelled together and you can see how much you have developed this technology with one another. Please tell us a little bit about this, this whole movement and this whole experience and how it can move without crutches and, and be such a, a dominant system here. Oh, I've done a lot of work. But I've been with you now. 여기 화면에 있는 친구들과 함께해서 잘 해낼 수 있었던 것 같습니다. Although you look, it was really fluent, but he was actually really nervous. But he said, because we are team, we have many team members, he can do it well. He have done it well, yeah. And another round of applause here for you all from the arena in Switzerland. Uh, how long have you been working together and developing this system? Um, we have worked two years, and this pilot not only just trained the robot, but also he have designed this robot together. Yeah. And you From can two really years, understand that collaboration. Last six years, we you did a lot of training. Really understand that collaboration. Just an incredible performance, um, really very well done to you and the whole team. Um, from all of us in Zurich, out to Korea, well done, you are the winners of the Exoskeleton. Thank you. Right, we are going to take a very quick break when we come back. It will be medal ceremony time, see you in a moment. from Korea. Please give it up for Team Keist. And with an impressive 60 points, gold medal for pilot Song Wan Kim. Oh, fantastic scenes here from South Korea. What a victory for Team Kais. Maybe some little people not quite so happy as the others though there. What a team. Please give it up for the winners and the medalists in this 2024 Cybathlon Exoskeleton Race. And there we go, our final podium ceremony here at Cybathlon 2024. Well-deserved victory for Team Keist in South Korea. And we celebrate, of course, the exoskeleton podium, the results on your screen there. What a way to round it all off here then, and what has been a truly unique event.